हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज अनिल वेलकम टू एजुकेशन तत्व दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्ले लिस्ट दैट वी आर वर्किंग ऑन फ्लोएबल सो फॉर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट वॉट इज फ्लोएबल वाई फ्लोएबल एंड सम फंडामेंटल्स ऑन द बी पी एम साइड यू कैन चेक आउट द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो दिस विल बी मोर फोकस्ड ऑन फ्लोएबल एंटरप्राइज वर्जन we will be covering the hands on exercise and this is must for you to learn what all features uh this flowable enterprise comes with and uh, this is again will help you to understand uh, the some of the theoretical part that we completed earlier like what is bpmn what is cmmn what is dmn and then how the overall things together is working so we will start with one demo application and then we will take up, uh, forward it to like more on the hands on side and when uh, hands on side and then we will cover some of the topics that are must uh, for you to understand so let's uh, have a look uh, if you remember uh, we we talked about how to install flowable enterprise in the open source mm -hmm. so here what you can see is uh, you can see that uh, within flowable installation we have engage which is the trial version of enterprise and under flowable bin we have uh, start engage.bat so this file is basically helping you to uh, start your enterprise version where we will be covering on um, how to uh, like uh, create a demo application and how to introspect that so let's uh, start this as you can see uh, that flowable is starting and this has launched another window uh, let me pull it out here so this is starting your tomcat which is uh, available uh, within the package of trial version itself it will take some time it will be launched on port 8080 so uh, and after that they and do check out some of the important links that i'm going to mention in the video because that is something i will help you for uh, like understanding this overall uh, enterprise version better and uh, there will be a exercise that you can uh, follow along with this video so this this will take some time and it's uh, this turn over and then i'll uh, quickly show you from where you can download this uh, uh, demo project and where you can start as you can see here that uh, this is make uh, this is actually starting yeah this is actually starting your uh, flowable engine and deploying all the necessary wars and uh, this this page is still loading so this takes some time when you are starting your flowable engine and this browser will be automatically uh, loaded when you start your flowable engage uh, starting is dot bat file this takes some time because it checks your uh, uh, the license and everything to be able to like uh, launch this uh, tomcat uh, server where your flowable engine will run so as you can see that the messages uh, are still printing for uh, that shows like the flowable is, is still in a process to be turned on and as i mentioned earlier this is based on spring boot so there is uh, there are some upcoming videos which will be covering some advanced topic related to flowable but before that you should go and check uh, about the fundamentals where we have talked about uh, what is flowable what is bpmn uh, that is very important for you to understand because most of the time i have seen people um, like confused where they they, they are not sure about uh, what is bpmn and where they can use this uh, for talking about any use case so i i covered that in detail okay so this talks about uh, the expiry date when i uh, uploaded it so 3rd of march we started so it shows like 3rd of april um this this will be expired and then you cannot uh, renew it either you can go and purchase or you need to like uh, log in with uh, some different email to get this uh, license but this is more about flowable has provided you an opportunity where you can actually uh, go and explore what are the offerings of flowable and this is like um, this this is very 
good tool in terms of mvpn it looks like there are some issues while i restarted it since uh, this has not uh, this this tomcat has not started completely so it could be the reason around uh, error around that so let's wait for a couple of more minutes and uh, let this should be up and running and then i'll start showing you how to start with the demo with the loan application so here what, what we are going to do is in this loan application and this is very much available on their official website i would recommend you guys to go and check on that uh, i'm just referring this tutorial uh, based on flowable documents flowable blogs and the website so i would recommend you should go i'll also put this link on the description so that it will be easier for you to navigate so once your uh, apache tomcat and all the services are up and running you can see this uh, flowable enterprise version will be open on your uh, <coughs> browser so from here what you need to do is first you need to download uh, the loan application which is available on uh, flowable uh, documentation so this is the url that you can refer and when you click on it uh, you will be able to download this loan application uh, there so this is how the zip file will look like it will have some action models bpmn models cmn decision form page and template and this is very good application for you to start uh, learning flowable and you will see like a lot of your thoughts will be cleared when you are like uh, able to follow this hands-on exercise so once your flowable is up and running you can open the flowable design from here and uh, what do you need to do if you remember we provided admin and test as a username and password so once you do this you will see that flowable apps cases process decision forms pages and others and design will come we'll talk each of these when we will go and discuss about uh, the use cases related to these modules but to be able to install uh, the loan application that we just downloaded what we need to do is we need to install through the plus icon provided here i'll show so click on the plus icon this will open up uh, a pop-up what would you like to do you can either create a new application or you can import an app from a file with this option since we have downloaded an existing application what we need to do is we need to import it through this so in here what we need to do is we need to click import choose file from here and we need to go to application uh, so basically whatever uh, whatever path uh, is related with your uh, system you can follow the same uh, we just need to import this loan application dot zip file so as you can see that this is loading and once uh, since it's a small file and once this is loaded you will see uh, the icon for loan application the name of loan application and this is an example application for flowable work tutorial and this will have a lot of artifacts uh, in it it will have case file so which is your case management file then it has processes so it has three different processes. we'll talk about them what are they and then it has decision table this has a uh, couple of forms and then um, some actions some content and some templates that's all so it has enough things for you to actually understand what is flow able uh, enterprise application and what are different component that comes with uh, this flowable version so we'll go through each one of these uh, in detail uh, in, in this session so the next what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create task so flowable engage and flowable work are the standard user interface for people working with uh, cases and processes with flowable engage having all the capabilities of flowable work as well as chat features so since we are using flowable engage for this tutorial so what we need to do is we will open flowable engage from here so just go on the home page of flowable uh, trial version and open flowable engage so as, as they talked about that flowable work and flowable engage so these are uh, the framework for uh, any user to interact so 
for that uh, there are some of the users already created in here we are going to use them as part of uh, this demonstration uh, I'll also write down about the users that I'm using and uh, that comes with the, the standard installation process so for demo and uh, we can like try login with the user whose name is Kenny Cole and the password is test as it remains uh, same for other users as well by default for the trial some demo users are created automatically and this is one of the users uh, among them so as the admin has the capabilities uh, we'll switch to the demo users can you call throughout the following as the primary user so let's sign in with can you call here so here on the left side uh, you will see a list of application areas also known as flowable apps initially the conversations uh, uh, you can see flowable app should have been selected uh, right and uh, for flowable work it uh, it will be like work as a flowable app it is possible to add new flowable apps and change uh, which flow apps are available to different users so this is completely customizable based on like how you want to perform and uh, yeah this is quite easy and uh, to create something like this it, it's all together a separate project that's why flowable is also known as a low code or no code platform the default flow apps available in flowable engage and flowable work are largely the same the flowable engage having the extra conversations which uh, once are available to a specific user demands on their rules and permission so i hope you should be able to understand the difference between flowable engage and flowable work these are almost the same thing the only difference is your conversations uh, flow apps right so let's go to new and this is I, i'm going to show you like uh, how a simple conversation or simple to do items can be recorded with this option so if we just go uh, to this new option from here we can create conversations we can create work we can create task so uh, that is what all possible uh, and uh, conversations are the real time chat with other users or uh, digital assistants um, work is uh, to uh, like to see start and update the cases and process you are involved in so this is more like uh, what all works are related to you and then they as you can see that they have different filters within each of these category like what is for me what is open complete and all so these are the quick uh, filters and you can even create new filters uh, using this option uh, right or you can either like uh, create a work directly from this sorry for that and then under the task you can again uh, work is a long list of items or task is an individual items right so that is something you can control from the task option and this is your inbox basically where you need to work on any individual task then contacts are other users in your group uh, so you can go and check all the contact details uh, from here uh, you can see uh, like what are the internal and external and you can go into the detail of each uh, individual person mentioned here so this is your user can you call uh, uh, that from which we have logged in and then uh, we have documents so some of the documents that uh, that is required as part of uh, doing this job and these are the report section that we are going to talk about in detail right so if you uh, like if you click on your uh, contact what you can do is you can go on the settings and you can do some of the preference change here if you want to change your profile picture or password you can click on the settings and from there you can navigate like this or you can also go through uh, the contact page uh, which is there so let's uh, quickly summarize what we just discussed so these are uh, like flowable engages more like when you look at this application more like the end users uh, or the business users so you create a user interface for them and where they can actually log in and uh, they can check what all uh, softwares or the ui is available so this is more like a place where your end users are interacting with right so let's go and um, do something let's go and create a task so with this you can simply create a task you can give it some name 
you can fill out the details let's say that a reminder to complete this tutorial home this is assigned this is assigned to self by default but you can assign this to someone else in your team if you want what is the due date i want this to be completed by this i want this to be completed by this month make sure all relevant course details are captured and then submit so what it does it is more like creating a to do item right so you can see the task is coming here it has a certain um, a label that you have given to this task and then it shows uh, when it was created what is the assignee and some other meta details and then um, at the bottom uh, of this task you can see if uh, there are any conversations comments people uh, worked upon it and uh, so as you know like um, the, the canicole is the owner of this task and as well as the signee as well so that's where you see his name twice and then on the sub task if there are any sub task associated to it they will be lined up here any document that you want to attach or uh, if you want to see any instances we have not worked much upon this task so that's where you will see that most of the uh, things are empty but just take a pause here let's understand what we have done for example you need to complete some task and let's just not think it as part of the workflow but think more like uh, uh, how you want to track for a task what all things are required right so just take an example that uh, that they did that uh, there is some task uh, very similar to uh, you might have experience with the jira ticket if you have uh, worked on agile what you do is you create a story just assume that this is your story what you do you update that story with whatever the comments uh, or whatever the progress has been done on that on a regular basis right and then you want to share it with some other persons for uh, like reviewing or testing or something else so that's where you can actually utilize this people tab and assign it to them so that this task will be shared with them so uh, and they should be able to take any action they should be able to provide comments or conversation so uh, and then if, if uh, like you perform any unit testing as a developer you can also attach some uh, document as a proof that you have done it so this tool is as powerful as replacing jira completely right if you if you like utilize it that way and jira is somewhere is also a workflow tool so i'm not uh, in, in uh, much uh, favor to like uh, replace that because that that these two are a different um, um, like a software so the offerings but yeah that is how like you can evolve this product to fit in any requirement and this is completely custom and this can fit in, in any workflow that you want All right so from here if, if you look at it uh, you can uh, control a lot of things here and uh, uh, within this sort of sp uh, sp attention span you could just click the complete button and uh, you feel like uh, you have done this job so if you just complete it you'll see the color has changed right and this starts showing in your uh, uh, completed one you can uh, like uh, after this you can perform uh, uh, like you can go through some of the tabs and see the history as well so the task was uh, created 10 minutes back and then it was completed uh, within one minute so that is how you can also keep a track of what you are doing uh, as an individual on an individual task and what uh, all actions are available how this can be more meaningful for your organization so this was a quick example of uh, a task creation but uh, going forward the the loan application that we uh, took so we we are uh, like planning to break it into the two parts one is more about how the installation of loan application is working and then some quick overview how the task and other features available within engage uh, but in the next sessions what we are going to do is we are going to uh, deep dive in loan application and we'll talk that in much detail so uh, stay tuned uh, share me your feedback how overall program is structured if you see any changes in there uh, share with your friends um, and also go through if, if you feel any difficulty i'll try to like uh, accommodate more topics and i'll make it more meaningful for you guys so with that i'm just concluding this session here please like comment and share to this uh, subscribe to this channel and share with your friends uh, obviously thanks for your support thank you